MLB the show's coverage. Blake Snell, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year, but we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. That accepted. The first base is Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Daniel Murphy is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Even on 0 and 2, a dangerous count for Daniel Murphy. Snell, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Bradley retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. Into the box now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch. Jackie Bradley. Pulled toward right center field. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. Batting second, the right field. So Tony. striding forward now, Tony Three. Gwynn, an absolute hitting machine right now. He's already added nine base hits to his season total in this series alone. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. Digging in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. He has success with two out, and the bottom of the first stays moving. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Into the box now, Fred McGriff. Line towards center field, and Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's just one for six. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series, but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Charlie Blackman goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. David Dahl is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one, and he fouls this one off. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Sheffield will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. That is good. The center fielder. First pitch on its way. Yes. Ian Desmond swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. It's not easy to hit home runs with this day and age with guys thrown with increased velocity. They were knocking the ball out of the ballpark all day yesterday. They'd like to save a couple of those and use them in this game today. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Gary Sheffield, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Freeland, originally from the centennial state of Colorado. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. 
drives it to deep Hello. left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Now a swing and a fly ball, and it's a foul ball. Runners on his way to third. Strike called. Now the throw down. And skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. High in the air down the right field line. Blackman on the move, but this will land untouched. The next 0-2. Popped up. Knee high. He barehands it. Touche, sir. That is tough. The third baseman. Now with the plate, Manny Machado. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. Scorey scoops it up. Only play's going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Batting it. Stepping into the box, Benito Santiago trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. These Rockies guys, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matt, they have to avoid the sweep right. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Dom Nunez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Fastball, and it gets by him a swinging strike. And it's one and two. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Bradley comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Batting on the pitch number 21. First pitch coming. Kyle. Here it is. Kyle Man. Freeland is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Behind 0-2 now. Two strike pitches chopped foul at the plate and will do it again. Curveball locks him up. Strike three. And that's the third out. Stepping into the box, Blake Snell as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. No pitcher. Line drive to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Now batting, center fielder, Jackie Bradley. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. Now back at the plate, right Tony here. Gwynn. Tony Gwynn. First delivery to him on the way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dahl will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr lifted in the air out towards left center and he will get there to make the running play and that here comes the first pitch now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone it's ball one a ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter great job of doubling up with the fastball inside a lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there but they won't go back in there a second time this guy's not afraid to pitch inside and this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away 
the bat. Ready to deliver. The Here's pitch. the first pitch. Daniel. Daniel Murphy stands in as he looks at a called strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Chased a low ball oh, there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Hey, I get it. You want to be aggressive, but man, these guys are swinging at everything. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 0 2 once more is in there. A called strike three. Three up. Three. Riding in once again, Fred McGriff. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Desmond is right there, one down. Now batting, left fielder. So striding Gary. in, Gary Sheffield. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Now back. Second base. Digging in for his second Roberto. at bat. Roberto Alomar comes Alomar. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Giving chase is dull. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Takes just four pitches to and back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back. David Dahl to the plate now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And this is swung on and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the fifth. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really now impressive to me, he play. hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Ian Desmond is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. To the plate now, Garrett Hampson. Wow, that's a rough go. Not only do you lose the no-hitter, you lose the shutout. But after that swing, we're all tied up. Let's see if this guy can get back in a good mental frame of mind and start throwing some zeros back up on the board. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. But the Rockies... And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He said his hitters have not been able to lay off the first pitch at all. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing, it is when you're not getting hits out of it. We looked at the numbers, and they've already hit into nine first pitch outs in this one, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Blackman is there to take this ball in, and Machado is down on just one pitch. 
Digging in, Benito Santiago hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. In now, Blake Snell. One for one after a single his first time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Story is there, and how about that? Here comes the first pitch. Dom Nunez is at the plate as he watches ball one. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. That swung on and missed. We're even at 1-1. One and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. A little too tall that time. 3-1 and one now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Line to the right side. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So the leadoff hitter is aboard. Pitcher due up. Looks to be a textbook sacrifice situation. Oh, this is a great. Now back the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. So now to the plate, Kyle Freeland. And he pops up the bun attempt. Machado is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The ball. Runner at second, one away. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. 0-1 the count. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Machado has to hurry, and there's out number two. The first baseman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Daniel Murphy is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 1. 1 1 to the Rockies' first baseman. One run, two hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. A little roller toward the hole. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. With that, the inning opens with the Padres getting their leadoff man on base. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Right fielder, number 19, Tony On the stretch. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. These guys are in perfect position to break through right here and to take the lead. There is without question nothing tougher than back-to-back -back singles. You don't know if they're gonna bunt. You don't know. They can do so they have so many options at their disposal. And both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he looked like a caveman swing in a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line towards center field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. The left fielder, number 
Ready once again, Gary Sheffield. He'll try to bring in that second run of the inning from third with two down. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound. Stepping in now, Roberto Alomar. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. Throw hey. won't get him. And that's his second triple of the season. For the some hitters, that's a career. 15. Good swing and great hustle Eddie. to pick up the three-bagger. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. Five and two-third innings of work on his final ledger as he was not particularly sharp from the get-go here. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Gone! Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing. That was not what he had in mind. First pitch, and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will land out there just foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Six runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And he looks at a ball, one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone-cold take. This is line to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not He had thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Fielded cleanly on to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Kirby Yates is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Nolan Arenado is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Fouled away. A pause and the 0-2. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Charlie Blackman is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Boy, he looks strong up there on the mound this inning. He's got a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will. Jairo Diaz will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Into the box now, Tony Gwynn. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Reined in, and that's the first out. So coming to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. 
And he falls behind 0 and 2. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he is in at second base with a one out double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. And he's safe. Tatis stands at third with one gun in the inning. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. Digging in now for San Diego, Gary Sheffield. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounder down the line at third. Men on third with two down. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The second base I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those Back on another here as the runner scores from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Here's Manny Machado now. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider, it's strike one. Another RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands the zone. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. Murphy. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Ian Desmond. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing well, as well as they are one. and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. 0-1, oh here it comes. Swung oh, on and missed that strike two. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force, coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness a sweep, and it looks pretty good at this point. Split-fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And it's fouled away. The one-two. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away. Now in the box, Benito Santiago. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. James Pazos will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. 
Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Pazos has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now batting. Better fielder. So the batting order Jackie. turns over now and set Bradley. to go. Jackie Bradley Jr. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Center fielder going back to the track. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot off the bat of Jackie Bradley Jr. First home run of the campaign for him as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Into the box, Tony Gwynn. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. That'll bring up Tony Walters, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Now the pitch. Trevor Story stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Line drive to left. Sheffield is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The first base, number nine. Daniel Murphy steps in now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. No balls in one strike. Swing and a miss. And they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. And he fouls this one off. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Nope. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Boy, that's one. He got him, and the Padres complete the four-game sweep of their division rivals at home. Ten to one, the final lopsided score in this ballgame. 